okay so here we are going to create a forming tool then we will save those tool in forming uh, design library then we will use those tool in sheet metal feature as a sheet metal feature so let's create a die for tool so just uh, select here top plane any plane you can sketch now i'm going to make the sketch for uh, those designs let's connect the line again okay let's define this Eighteen millimeter, okay. Twenty and twelve. Okay, look, this is not in one line. So select, the, press and hold shift key, select both center point, and make relation or constraint vertical. Look, it seems fully defined. If you want to go trim entities. and let's trim this one and we have one key type slot okay sketch fillet keep 10 mm and i am going to select these two ends okay cancel let's extrude now i want to make my tool depth only 6 mm so in direction one keep blind and i want to move in one side so let's say 6 mm thick okay now i want to add thickness in both corner so for uh, supporting thickness we need to add some material at bottom so select the bottom face sketch center rectangle okay this is i am going to delete so i am not going to make any dimensions for this extrude 6 mm okay now let's activate fillet now make this one 2 mm and let me select the top face and bottom now without support this we can't make this fillet okay now again i want to delete this so select this face sketch convert entity now it's converted extruded cut make depth here 6 mm blind okay that's it now i want to make a key slot hole here so select this face sketch circle now let's make okay now let's connect with this again even though you can mirror this line but let's simply let's move th these lines okay a smart dimension 7 mm 4 mm now again i am going to use stream entity just press and hold left mouse and now here make sure we selected power trim and trim this see now i want to make impression or a projection on this face so simply exit now drop down here and choose split face now here i want to project this line on this face so sketch already selected projection and we have to choose face here so i am going to select this face okay now look we have two different faces just because split command tool now let's go to metal and let's add this in forming tool so activate forming tool now here in type we have to choose stopping face stopping face means this is going to rest on any plane surface so this is we have to define this face now remove face so i want to remove this for key slot see here we don't need to insert any point so uh, i'm going to keep this one as it is okay now you will see this is resting face on any sheet metal and this is the 
cutting face now let's add this one save as now here save as type now here i am going to save this one form tool see here form tool now once you activate this give name uh, we will give this name uh, let's say key hole emboss okay and here see these all tools design library uh, folders are open so just simply go to forming tool double click now here i am going to save this one in forming tool even you can save in embosses also okay let's save in embosses there are many embosses save this one okay now let's take our example part 1 now this is our sheet now here i want to apply now go to design library refresh design library and here we have forming tool okay now go to emboss now look keyhole emboss already here see just drag and drop here now look this is stopping face so this is going to stop with this see you will see back side now you can change angle or degree anything let's say 90 degree 0 flip tool see you can flip the uh, position see here now the back side is going to be stopping for this okay now link to form tool that's it go to position now right click select and uncheck this smart dimension now we have to define this so i'm going to use method this is the center point connect with this now select this one horizontal okay it's still not move so let me choose this point shift key this point coincide that's fine and uh, this distance supposed to be 20 okay that's fine this is for at center position okay and here look this is our tool see so we created a die or forming tool and use on sheet this is 1 mm sheet if you see here see this is 1 mm sheet okay don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching